Oh, uh, sorry to disturb you, Headmaster. This is Ms Davenport from the LEA. Ms Davenport. Jack Rimmer. Welcome to Waterloo Road. Good to meet you. Uh, please, call me Heather. Uh, this is um, Andrew Treneman, Deputy Head. How do you do? And uh, Kim Campbell, Head of Pastoral Care. I'm hoping you're going to see a real turnaround in the place here. Look, Jack, I'm afraid I have some potentially bad news. Basically, the situation is this. Three schools in the area are under threat of closure, and Waterloo Road's one of them. There just aren't enough kids. That's what this visit is about. I've got to determine whether Waterloo Road should stay open or not. Well, thanks for uh, springing that on us. Well, I'm sure that Heather's only the messenger, Jack. Yeah, sure. I, I'm just a bit gutted, that's all. Well, I'm not. I think that you will be amazed with the transformation of this place. Well, for certain. Uh, especially if you're comparing it with schools like St Bartholomew's. I mean, all I teach them there is how to roll spliffs and not wire cars. <laughs> uh, have you agreed any particular criteria for your decision making? There are lots of factors, and I realise this is a huge shock, but let me stress, I'm not looking for miracles or the perfect school. I'm looking for a school that wants to succeed, with dedicated, passionate staff. I'm looking for innovation. Well, we're innovating like crazy here. <laughs> Aren't we, Kim? Where do I start? Um, well, there's the new house system that uh, Mr. Tunneman's instigated. How quaint. The children don't think so. And they're the ones that count, aren't they? Mm. At least they are at Waterloo Road. And let's not forget the open day. Really? Well, that sounds very interesting. Mm. Well, it's like a... Um, Meet the parents, come look what we've achieved kind of thing. Lots of stalls and, and uh, show. Show. And a display celebrating the diversity of our pupils. Oh, that must have taken a lot of planning. Mm. Why don't you tell Heather all about it, Kim, and uh, I'll organise another cup of tea, and uh, then we can have the grand tour. <laughs> That's it, I'm afraid. School could close. So, Mr. Rimmer wants you all to pull your fingers out today. Hmm? We're screwed. I suppose if you can't afford to keep a school going, you, you can't afford to keep it going. Can't imagine anyone at the town hall going to the barricades over this place. They'll have a for sale sign slapped on the gate soon as. Well, that's the sort of positive spirit won us two world wars, isn't it? Well, Sean, I suppose we should be grateful. Mr. Rimmer's seen sense and sent Steph Haydock on a trip. Pity it isn't one way. Quiet! Apologies for my tardiness. Stavenport's, but I had to get these copied. Assistants off sick, as usual. Good morning, Mr. Hutchins. Oh, yes, morning. Right, quiet, you lot. Let's get cracking. Open your homework, Jotters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can see what we're up against here, can't you? Hmm? <laughs> He's dyslexic, aren't you, Peter? I.E. thick. Right, sir. Uh... Right, take, take one, hand the rest on. To show the community that it is as much a part of the school as Waterloo Road is a part of the community. Say that again, that last bit. Sorry, uh, part of the community. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, that's it. Okay, is that enough jargon for you? We want to chuck in some of your multicultural expertise. Right, okay. Um, okay, how about this? Miss Campbell, head of pastoral, will be there to answer questions on the ethnic diversity within the school. Um, oh, oh, and the steps that we take to ensure. Slow that down! The steps we take to ensure. Yeah. Right, yeah. that each child is treated equally and with respect, regardless of race, religion or culture. Brilliant. Add a couple of coloured graphics, Estelle. A couple of happy, smiling kids' faces and whatnot and the school logo. I think we got ourselves a decent brochure. Okay. Oh, Estelle. There we are. Hey, look at that. Hey, you pulled out all the stops there, love. Thanks. Just hope it does some good. It's got to work out to flame well run it now. Yeah. Heather, how's it going? Not bad. 
I've just been to Mr. Budgeon's class. He doesn't think much of the children, does he? <laughs> He's uh, a tad old-fashioned, but he knows how to control a class. Have you seen these? The uh, open day I was telling you about? Great. May I take one to the file? Kim was just telling me that Miss Haydock and Mr. Treneman are out on a trip. Yeah. You may be surprised to hear this, but it has been known for some heads to shunt problem staff and kids off for the day to avoid them being assessed. We've got nothing to hide here at Waterloo Road. We just didn't want to disappoint the children. Yeah. I see. Well, looking forward to lunch and the opportunity to talk to the pupils. They're the ones that really know the school inside out, aren't they? Yeah. See you later. You need to go. Yeah. It's Mr. Clarkson. He's a dead good teacher, isn't he? Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> What about hair, Dr. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, my nan, she thinks croissants are called crescents. <laughs> and she can teach better French than what hair, Dr. does. <laughs> and it's still important for some people as well. You might like her. She wants to go into travel. There you are. I was uh, hoping to catch up a little before you left. So far, so good? Um, I'm not without hope. I think the school has potential. Potential, right. But I have to be honest with you. I do have my concerns. Look, I want to do everything I can for the welfare of my school. Then you need to be honest with me. And yourself. For example, Steph Haydock. She gets poor reports from the pupils, she has disappointing coursework results, and then, miraculously, she disappears on a trip. So I'm unable to do her classroom assessment. I suggest you look for the weak spots in your school and do something about them. I hope you don't think I'm being too negative. Look, um, your words haven't fallen on deaf ears. You can trust me to do the right thing. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at the open day. Maybe we could have that meal. Come on, you lot, get a move on. Welcome back to the house of fun. Hey, Michelle, you've got good taste. If I was 20 years younger, I'd be after myself. <laughs> Miss Haydock, I presume? Yeah. Well, I'll leave that situation with you. Bye, Jack. <laughs> <laughs>